Hey everyone, the other night I was watching a show on the BBC about recycling and landfill, and like a lot of other BBC programming, it was rubbish. Get it? Anyway, so what's been going on? Well, there's a new series of lockdowns going on around the world as politicians struggle to prevent new COVID cases, or in many cases just use the news for self-promotion. Looking at my home country of Scotland, the government announced that bars would close for up to two weeks. Although given that everyone was warned in advance and will undoubtedly have overdone it, I guess that many people wouldn't want to visit a bar anyway for the first couple of days of the ban. And at the end of the day, you have to wonder if it's all a ploy by the SNP to avoid any news stories emerging of Alex Salmon meeting new friends at a night out. What else? Well, guitar virtuoso Eddie Van Halen also died of cancer in the last week, and there's someone with a vast collection of vinyl records, I guess it was tinged with sadness, as well as the thought to put some of those albums up on eBay at triple the price. His wife said, quote, her heart and soul had been shattered, before a spiritualist with a Ouija board said that Eddie wanted her to stop stealing his lyrics. However, the big story is that it's just a month to go into the US election, and there's been news stories coming out left, right and centre, or as the press would put it, far left, far right, no centre. Last week saw the vice presidential debate, which compared to the Trump-Biden fracas was somewhat more civilised. Certainly it was refreshing to see a discussion about interruptions, you know, classic American interruptions like stop, I can't breathe, you're standing on my neck, which is all too common these days. For what it's worth, Mike Pence came across as a bit more professional, but it doesn't really matter, because the big news story is that President Trump is alive and COVID-free and back in the campaign trail. Subsequent debates have been cancelled because the president says that they'll be rigged against him, and he's probably right, but it's probably irrelevant because he comes from the world of television, and we know that we've got at least two major unknown plot twists coming between now and election day. And that election could go either way, it really could, and I'm yet to personally wager any money on the result. But I will say this much, currently Donald Trump is so far behind in the polls that it reminds me of the night that he won the presidency. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.